Hello, family status. I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today we're harvesting fresh peppers from the garden. First, we're going to harvest from our Serrano pepper plant that we have planted in the ground. So our Serrano pepper is planted in red clay mixed with topsoil. After we finish harvesting our Serrano peppers, we're going to harvest some of our bunny green peppers that we have in our 30-gallon compost containers. So do you guys remember two weeks ago when we were harvesting our banana peppers and we thought that these guys were the reason our other banana pepper plant looked very sick and sad? Well, it turns out these guys are actually not squash bugs, but they look very similar to squash bugs, but they are called leaf-footed bugs. We can't wait to make some pico de gallo with our serrano peppers. We have one that's almost red right here. I wonder what's the different spice level between the red ones and the green ones. I ate some serrano peppers with my taco salad yesterday. One word. Delicious. One of the spiciest taco salads I ever had in my life, but super delicious. Something that we learned about pepper plants this year that will help us next year is that next year we need to make sure we have some kind of bamboo sticks or something to hold up our pepper plants like this. Because as you can see, this serrano pepper is leaning. Came out one morning and it was on the ground. Now we've noticed some pepper plants like this Tabasco pepper plant may be okay without a bamboo stick but to be on the safe side we still want to use bamboo sticks for all our pepper plants because when those hard winds come through and those hard storms you'll come out the next morning and all your pepper plants will be on the ground are we the only people that look out at our garden every five minutes because we're always looking out the window to see what's going on in our garden we're also just fascinated about the growth that happens every day in our garden. We still can't believe our backyard just used to be grass and dirt. And now we're growing food in our backyard. One of the best feelings ever. Growing your own food. These peppers smell delicious.
more serrano peppers coming soon so a couple tips for growing pepper plants in the ground you want to make sure you have some great soil with great drainage don't never plant your pepper plant in red clay like this because they will not like it at all and they will not produce any peppers and they probably won't even grow second tip for growing pepper plants is you can also use epsom salt and all you have to do is just sprinkle it around the base and this will keep your leaves nice and green and will keep your pepper plant stress free because epsom salt provides magnesium for your plants our first time growing corn has been a very interesting journey the first time we planted our corn we planted three different varieties of corn and after we did our research we found out that you can't plant that many different varieties of a corn because it would affect the taste of the sweet corn at the end and we don't want that to happen we don't want to wait all the way until harvest and realize that our corn is not sweet and it's tough if we only harvest one corn this year we're going to still be extremely happy you know why because it's one more than we harvested last year and any harvest is a good harvest even if you don't harvest anything because it's a learning experience and we'll just get better and we'll harvest more next year okay now that we're finished harvesting our serrano peppers let's go harvest our bunny green bell peppers so this right here is the reason why that i said next year we need to make sure that we plant our pepper plants with bamboo sticks or some kind of support to hold them up because you'll come outside and your pepper plant will look like this See, we just left this alone and let it go just to see how it does, but this is exactly how your pepper plants will look. Well, this is how some of your pepper plants will look if you don't use any bamboo stick or any support to hold up your pepper plants. Like, this one is leaning to the side. Check out these. See how it's leaning over? This one as well. leaning over to the side and those are on their way down but like I said with certain pepper plants you don't need any bamboo stick or support because this red ghost pepper is standing up just fine perfect Let us know in the comment section what this white stuff is on our bunny green bell pepper stock. What's your favorite thing to eat green bell peppers with? So in our 30 gallon compost containers we have grass clippings, egg shells, banana peels, coffee grounds, kitchen scrap compost, and some red clay from our backyard. And that is allowing us to produce this. So this is our bunny green bell pepper and our serrano pepper harvest from our garden today. So after we harvested our serrano and our bunny green bell peppers, we harvested more jalapeno peppers. Now we want to see how many pickled jalapeno peppers we can get from this. This will give us a great estimate of how many jalapeno pepper plants it takes to have a year worth of jalapenos. So we're going to boil these for about 10 minutes until the jalapenos change colors. So now that our jalapenos have changed colors from green to olive, now they're ready. Now they look just like the jalapenos when you buy them from the store. So this is how many pickled jalapeno peppers we made from 41 jalapeno peppers. These two on the right are the ones we made. 
And this one right here is from the store. 